Once you've finished configuring the meta tags on your site, you want to go ahead and check that off of your SEO checklist and click save. And then you'll notice that there is one more item here under meta tags. Now this isn't related to the actual meta tag module, but it is related to the concept of meta tags in general. And that's to install and enable the alternate hreflang module. You can find that on drupal.org slash project slash hreflang. Go ahead and download this module and install it on our site and we'll talk about it. Once you have alternate hreflang downloaded and installed, of course we want to enable it, so we'll go back to extend. And be careful here, if we click on SEO, then you will see something called meta tag colon hreflang, but that's not what we need. We're looking for alternate hreflang. If we go to all modules and filter by name and type href, then we'll see alternate hreflang here. And you'll notice that this is under the multilingual section of the site. So check that and install. And for this module, you don't have to do any configuration. Once you've enabled it, you're all done. The alternate hreflang module adds another type of meta tag to the pages on your website that tells particularly search engines what language the page is in. And more importantly, if a visitor is coming to your page and that visitor is from a different country and that speaks another language, it will direct those visitors to the appropriate page on your site. Now, this is assuming you're running a multilingual site. You may not be. In many cases, you may not be. And that's perfectly fine. It still is good for SEO for the search engine to know what language your page is in. But especially if you're running a multilingual site, it will mark all of the alternate pages on the main page for any given piece of content. If someone who speaks Russian, for instance, finds the English version of your page in a search result, Google will know that it can direct them to the Russian page of your site because this module is essentially telling Google, hey, here's the main version of this web page, but if this person's coming from Russia, send them to this alternate version of the web page that's in Russian. And that's all you need to do. Again, no configuration. This is primarily for multilingual sites, but it doesn't hurt at all to have it on a site that's only in whatever language your site is primarily in. If we go back to configuration, search and metadata and SEO checklist, meta tags, we'll see that this should be automatically checked off for us because this module can tell that we've installed the alternate hreflang module. And once we've done that, it takes care of the rest on its own.